He's a very rich man. Very, very rich and old. Have seen a lot in his life. So many experience. He is from the Arab United Emirates. In one of the interviews, he was asking amazing questions that caught my attention. He was asked, you're a person who lived, mashallah, a long life filled with experience. You start from scratch and now you consider one of the multi-million of billion maybe uh, 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 men in, in, in your country. Can you share with us a wisdom or an incident that happened in your life that you learned from it a lot. Something like you always remember in your life. He said one day I left my home, if you want to say palace, and I was walking in my neighborhood and I was so sad that night or that day. I wasn't feeling good. Uh, there are so many problems in my work, at home, I wasn't feeling myself very well. And I started walking and walking and walking and I went to another neighborhood next to us. I passed by this masjid and I found a man inside the masjid. I said to myself, let me come in, go inside and pray to Raqqa. And he said, I've prayed to Raqqa in this masjid. It's my first time to pray in that masjid. He said, I saw this man praying, um, I mean by praying, making dua. And he said, he cut my eyes. I, I really was, I wasn't able to move. I was looking at him, raising his hand. And so into his dua, that sincerely I kind of envy him. How he was so connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to that extent. He was so into it. And I saw his tears mixed with his words. I saw his hands up for a very long time. As if he begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and keep begging Allah, keep begging Allah. And I said to myself, you know what? I'm not going to leave until I'll see what this man exactly his problem is. So I waited until he put his hand down a little bit and I approached him. He looked like someone who is like a middle class or even a poor person, the way he dressed. And I said to him, to him Salam alaikum, my brother. There is anything I can help you with. I saw you so into your dua. I saw so much sadness in your face. There is anything I can help you with. He said, Wallahi, I am in debt. And I have to pay my debt. Otherwise, I will be in a huge trouble. And I said, how much is it? With no hesitation. He said, 4,000 dirham. And I said, that's it? And he said, I put my hand in my pocket. I have even in my wallet more than that. And I give it to him immediately. And before he even said thank you to me, he made sujood shukr lillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then after he raised his head up, he said thank you. He said I was so moved by, by, by him. And he said I can give you more. He said no, no, that's, it. that's all what I need. I need just 4,000 dirham. Then I said to him, anyway, and he said I took my wallet and I give him my business card. And he said, take my business card. This is my cell phone. Anytime you need anything, just contact me. And the reply was shocking to me. His reply was shocking. He said, thank you. I don't need your business card. I don't need your contact number. I know who to contact when I need help next time. I will contact the one who have sent you to me. I will contact Allah, the one who have sent you to me to help me. He said, I walked out from that masjid. I didn't even know the name of this person. But that incident, something I will never forget in my life. He taught me a lesson and he, with his respond, I felt like I'm as if I was newborn. I was born again. And I was so happy. I felt so different after that. My brothers and sisters, this is an example of a man that you can see he's walking in the earth with his feet, but his heart up there in the heavens. His soul in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the sharaf, the honor of the mu'min, of the believer. 
This is the honoring, the takreem that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have given to those who believe in Him and those who turn to Him.